Amen. God bless you too, Reverend. So let's take a very quick closing remarks on this issue of uh, the doctor's strike, and I'll start with you, Honorable Mbui. Who should be the bigger person? <coughs> and who yeah. should take responsibility? Yeah, thank you. You know, um, whenever government goes into any agreement, and this has happened not just for the doctors, it's happened in the, with teachers in the past and uh, with other uh, departments, I think um, the government needs to realize they have an obligation uh, towards the, the, the doctors and the citizenry because they're responsible for the health. This, this is actually one of those uh, rights that people have under the current constitution. So I think that the, for me, the ministry needs to, 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 needs to be the one that uh, you know, puts this in order because it's all about uh, it, it, the, the agreements. It's only the government that can actually unlock them. You know, the, the doctors cannot unlock the, the stalemate. It's only the, the, the government. So I think the CS and her team need to come out of the high horse and, and listen to the doctors <coughs> and, and, and implement what they had already agreed on. Okay. On Buruku, very briefly on the doctor's strike. Uh, county government have uh, key functions in the uh, health sector. One of the functions is budgeting. The other function is planning. The other function is finan financial management, human resource. Uh, emergency medicine and uh, medical supplies. These key functions uh, uh, given by uh, count, given to county government by our constitution uh, need to be well taken care of by the county government. Okay. I think uh, the national government is doing all what it can to ensure there's provision of resources to the county government so that county government can be able to plan, can be able to do proper budget, can be able to do proper human resource in all our dispensaries and level four hospitals as well as level five hospitals and to ensure medical supplies are properly done. So I think uh, we want to see more uh, county government uh, upping their game as far as health sector is concerned. Okay, Faith? I would first let me say this with tongue in cheek, um, Honorable Ruko is very interesting that he talks about the counties when it comes to healthcare services yet they don't realize in the constitution that housing is the preserve of the counties. So I think that is being um, economical with the truth with, with regards to bouncing off responsibilities. And I would want to say that with regards to the doctors, I think there is a CBA that was signed that the government had committed to, which enabled the doctors the last time that they were on strike to go back to the hospitals. These are the people that offer healthcare services to the people of Kenya. and. Just looking at that investment that even government has made to ensure that they get to that level. I think government should be a bit more serious, looking also towards the nation and giving back to the people. Healthcare services are mandatory and they need to sit down, get off from their high horses. And I say also the CS as well and um, her comments um, do not augur well. Um, even just looking at trying to agree on a way forward. We need to have that uh, sit down the doctors have been on the streets and her inflammatory talks do not help the possibility of there being a ceasefire and us focusing on how can we ensure we take care of our people. And even the governor and even the Nairobi governor, his attempts to also, um, you know, push in into this agenda. I think um, he should come a bit slow with talks on how to work and agree with doctors rather than threatening them. At the end of the day, the only way to ensure that we are moving as a nation is they have to sit down with the doctors. They have to honor their promises because if these are promises that people who have gone through the processes, they have offered their services, and then they cannot get the placements, they're not being paid for those placements yet, they're offering their services. During the COVID season, we had the most painful realization or situation where one of the doctors died because they could not pay for medical services. Um, or get treated because they hadn't been paid in the counties for how many months. So even as um, Honorable Ruko talks about um, responsibility of the counties, to how much are they ensuring that the government is also devolving to ensure that healthcare services actually met at the county level, that there is actually medicine and the counties have money to pay those doctors. Okay. So I think this is a responsibility that national government has taken up. They signed those CBA they must honor the CBA. All right, first. Kibagendi. Uh, thank you. You know, um, at this point, I would say uh, the CS4 uh, in the Ministry of Health needs to tone down, and even governors need to tone down, so that they get to negotiate with the doctors for us to have services back. That is one. Number two, 
you know, doctors are, uh, are, are doing whatever they're doing because they're seeing government living in lajis. They are uh, 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 shuttling across the country, donating huge amounts of money, uh, living a lavish life. Uh, yet they say there is no money to, 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 to implement what they are supposed to actually do. So government uh, from every level needs to again uh, reduce on their expenditure. We need to uh, concentrate our resources and try and do, or, or what can I say, uh, the government needs to focus on few fundamental areas, have urgent and practical solutions to the issues that are affecting Kenyans. So instead of seeing the president uh, 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 crisscrossing the country, uh, uh, calling uh, Kinaruku and his group and bribing them to pass the housing bill with uh, huge sums of money, uh, calling groups of MCAs and uh, uh, pushing them to, to believe in his uh, insincerity. Because, you know, when the president actually steps up to tell MPs, you don't believe that I've told you there are opportunities for nurses in Saudi Arabia. You know, even they don't believe in some of the things he says. So what we are saying is the government needs to tone down on, on its rhetoric. They need to stop threatening. They need to calm down and start talking uh, uh, to, to the doctors Never. and everybody else, uh, not just the doctors. Yeah. The government also needs to reduce on its, uh, it, on its arrogance, on its lies, and on its insincerity. To, to the people who put okay. them in power. All right. And stop over taxing Kenyans. Right. It has, it, and, 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 and cre increasing levies at every turn. All right, thank, thank you so much. We've run out again, of time here. also remind but Kenyans, yes. especially no, young Kenyans, was about, uh, to get sector. out yeah. of Now he's going uh, uh, okay. you know, to uh, other issues. Let, get closing uh, remarks. Let me, let no, 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 that, that can't be we, uh, we, I'm, in, I'm requesting the okay. drug menace is becoming a national disaster. Okay. Uh, it is out of what we are discussing. All right. And I would request that even you in the media, please step up and talk about the issue of drugs okay. and substance abuse amongst young people. It is wasting a whole generation. Okay. Thank you so much for making time. Honorable Robert Mbui, Member of Parliament for Katiani. Honorable Geoffrey Ruku, Member of Parliament from Bere North. Honorable Anthony Kibagendi, MP Kitutu Church South. And Faith of the Ambo LSK President. Thank you so much for making time this morning on the State of the Nation.